My name is Sue Mbaya. I'm speaking on behalf of the Interparliamentary Union. Uh, what has uh, struck me, uh, as my colleague said, is that we have the information. We have the knowledge. But I also say that we have all the resources that we need. If we approach the work of saving women and children as a global community, if we approach it as a global community, we have everything that we need. Mrs. Michelle said something that really struck me. She said that we have to take it personally. The only way that I can take it personally that a newborn child has died in Afghanistan is if I see myself as part of a global community. And so one of the things that I notice is that we are very sanitized in the way that we're bringing uh, evidence to the, uh, to the, to the table. We, we talk in a sanitized way about the, the plain loads of children that are dying. I'm sorry, I'm going to take off my IPU hat for a moment and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk as an African woman who was born in Zimbabwe where the maternal mortality rate is 900 and something in a country that has those kind of resources. Oh, an African woman who has lived in Kenya where we're simply unable to make any change in the investment that we're making towards maternal and child health. An African woman who now lives in South Africa, a country with all the resources that we have, we continue to see those many women dying. It may not be politically correct, but it's my family because I see myself as a global actor. So, with that righteous indignation, I have that righteous indig indignation, which I now take with me to the Interparliamentary Union, putting back my IPU hat on. With my IPU hat on, I say, my view is that we have to hold ourselves as a global community to the highest level of accountability for doing what we have said we are going to do. For doing what we said we're going to do. And this brings the role of parliaments at all levels, parliamentarians at all levels. Because at the national level, it is the parliamentarians that are going to say, excuse me, Mr. Finance Minister, how do you justify these levels of spending for women's and children's health? It is the parliamentarians that are going to say, excuse me, Minister of Women's Affairs, but how do you justify this? Excuse me, I went to that community and I've been into that clinic and these programs are not working. The role of parliaments is very central. The key message that I bring beyond what I've already said is that, as Liz Mason, my key message is accountability, accountability, accountability. Effective accountability mechanisms are essential for ensuring that the political will for all of the, what we've said is actually going to happen. What is the role of the IPU moving forward? The IPU has demonstrated political will. The IPU, as the World Union of Parliaments, has passed a resolution one year ago. It convened a one-year-long conversation amongst parliaments, and they took your parliamentarians have passed a resolution to say that they're going to prioritize maternal newborn and child health. They have said they will make sure that the resources are available. They, will, they have said that they will make sure that the, um, the legislation policies are in place. They have said that they are holding themselves accountable, and they have done. A few weeks ago, we saw the first one-year accountability report. Ca parliamentarians are holding themselves accountable for implementing this resolution. So moving forward, the IPU will support these parliaments, we'll work with your country, your parliamentarians in your country. We will also make sure that as the IP, we continue to bring the voice of parliamentarians into these global spheres. Thank you for your attention.